Okay, I kind of want to show you how to do a honeycomb brioche stitch in a round, like that's in here. And um, it's not a bad one, it's got some beautiful texturing to it. So let me show you how to do that. What I do is I skip the first one, knit the second one. This is called a yarn over, okay? So we're yarning over knitting, yarning over, knit, yarn over, knit, yarn over, knit, yarn over, knit, all the way around like this, okay. Now getting this started is a little complicated because Okay, we made it all the way around. Now what we want to do is we want to push that yarn over down around the bottom, pick up the knit, and you're going to knit, okay? So you're going to be knitting all the way around, but you're going to skip the yarn over and knit, okay? So it's a slip that you're doing with that yarn over. So you're slipping and then knitting the knit, okay? Knit. As I said, getting started you're going to have to switch the layers, but once you do that, because of how you change it up, it's not hard, okay? So this is what you're going to do all the way around and then you're going to repeat again knitting a row but you're not going to touch that yarn over okay because you're basically have a slip stitch going on there all right Okay, now you have one more row to do. And remember you're going to not toss over that yarn over, you're going to toss over that knit that's in there. Okay, and in the pattern I say knit the slip. Okay, well in order to do that yarn over you had to slip the stitch. And so that's why you only knit the slip stitch, you don't knit the yarn over, okay? So it's going to say knit the slip, okay? And that's because you skipped that one. And that's what that means. You're just going to only ever knit the stitch you slipped. You don't touch the yarn over until it says purl two together, okay? And I'll show you that in just a second. We're fixing to switch up so that you can understand how the pattern would read up with this kind of processing. Okay, this is how you get started. So, let's see. But once you get this started, it makes it easier to start finding the slip stitch in the separation of the yarn over. Okay, but it's getting that started. All right, before finishing that last one, you're going to do a yarn over, okay? And then you're going to purl the two stitches together. Okay, yarn over slip, purl the two stitches together. 
Okay, and you're going to do this all the way around. Okay. And you see that you're creating that two section thing again, okay? So this is your knit two together, yarn over, slip, purl two together. Yarn over, slip, purl two together. This really isn't actually a difficult stitch once you get the hang of it. It's actually a really unique stitch. No, I, I really like it. I've done it for a hat and I'm doing it for socks and I think I'll want to play with it because it has an elegance to it that um, I really like. Okay, so when you start doing that purling, it actually starts putting that yarn over on the bottom so that you don't have to worry about it so much. But you're going to repeat the two rows like I just showed you after doing that in that where you knit the slip, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to take and ignore the yarn over, knit the slip, knit, knit the slip, knit, knit the slip, and you're going to do that for two rows, and then I will show you how to change up and one more time, and that is how you do the honeycomb brioche stitch. Okay, so go around and do that for two rows, and then I'll show you how to go in and reset up for what you originally did because we did a setup. Once you've already got this started, it's easy to keep going, and so I'll show you how to do another setup to where it's the alternate pegs that are have the uh, slip stitch and yarn over. So go ahead and complete those two rows, and then I'll show you the next section. Okay, I've gone around twice, and now we're going to do the alternate so that it has the um, this effect here. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do, like we did to set up this last batch, is we're going to slip yarn over and purl two together. Okay. Slip yarn over, purl two together. Okay. And you're going to do that all the way around. Okay. Okay, now that you've done this, consider this like the starting point again, okay? You just did that like we did at the starting. Consider that the starting point. And then after that, you do two rows of the knit the slip, okay? Where you skip that yarn over and you just knit the slip stitch. And you do that for two rows. Then you do the process of doing the... Um, slip yarn over again. So just follow the video over and over again from this starting point here and then do the two rows. So that's how you do the honeycomb brioche stitch in a circular manner.